Do you like humanity? I love humanity. But not everyone does. Executives in Silicon Valley and the eggheads at the World Economic Forum are pushing for a fourth industrial revolution. What does that mean? Well, it's going to transform what it means to be human. What the fourth industrial revolution will lead to is a fusion of our physical, our digital, and our biological identities. A fusion, huh, Schwab? Well, what does that really mean? Well, this means implanting chips into your wrists so you can go pay for your groceries that way. Or Google Glass that turns your eyeballs into a computer. People walking around with virtual reality headsets living in an alternative reality. But it's not just about dominating your attention with their screens, apps, and devices and extracting all of your information for cash. It's also about control. Once you join their universe, you're dependent on them. You're not as free. They can control you. They can track you. Or they can turn you off. Do I wish I could turn some people off? Yeah, gut felt. But I shouldn't have that power. No one should. But the younger generation of Americans have been raised to be tech dependent. They don't see any harm. And COVID accelerated the tech dependence. Tech resistance is the new battlefield. Laura Abilly is an activist who studies this worrying trend for humanity. So where should we start worrying first? Well, hi, hi, Jesse. Thank you for having me. Um, and that's a very good question because actually the the transhumanist movement is is huge. We're not talking like you've shown just ahead of this uh, of, of a fringe group of of nerds that are working towards this. These are the big tech, big pharma guys that are behind this movement, and it's being implemented around the world in many, many ways. There's a lot of funds and a lot of resources that are being deployed in in really pushing this agenda forward. Um, I know that, for example, last year, I think it was September the 12th, Biden signed an executive order, which was uh, per the purpose was to channel funding and resources to bioengineering and biomanufacturing. These are all the, this is supporting all of the industries that are getting this transhumanist agenda in place. So it's really coming at us from every angle. What? And like you very rightly said, it's about control. What do you mean when you say biomanufacturing, bioengineering? Like we all get turned into RoboCop? Well, <laughs> not immediately, but I'm, I'm afraid that's probably what they want for us. They talk about a post-human future. That means we will cease to be the humans that we are right now. All of these industries, you know, transhumanism encompasses a lot of things, from nanotechnology to genetic engineering, uh, bioprosthetics, all sorts of different things. And I think perhaps one of the most dangerous things is in the field of genetic manufacturing. We live in a world where we already have genetically modified plants, genetically modified animals, and I guess we are the next on the list. That is scary. Are you saying they yeah, might they be able to clone me? <laughs> we wouldn't be so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, and thanks for bringing this to our attention, Laura. You're, you're very big where people can see you, and we appreciate all the hard work you've been doing. Thank you, Jesse. Good to be here.